the argument that you're making, mm -hmm. right? And this is this is the incongruity of your argument. Mm -hmm. Your argument cognitively does not follow, mm -hmm. because what you're saying is that textual variants mm -hmm. prove that the Jesus Christ of the gospel is not a real Jesus Christ. Now, here's why that argument is false. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a very so, good yeah. so, 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 here's, here's the thing, right? Listen to this, because the argument goes that the synoptic gospels say multiple women went to the tomb, but the gospel of John says only one woman went to the tomb, right? Now, this is an argument, beloved of Taoists, who come to the corner and, and try to feed arguments into whoever I debate. But it's okay, I'll come and talk to you in a bit. So, so let's, let's now, and he'll run when I do. But let's, let's, he'll run. He'll, he'll run when I do. When I come to debate him, he'll run. He'll, go, he'll come. So listen carefully. Are you listening? Right, listen. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came early to the tomb while it was still dark and saw the tomb already taken and saw the stone already taken away from the tomb. Sounds like one woman, right? Mm -hmm. Keep reading. So she ran and came to Simon Peter and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved and said to them, they have taken away the Lord or the Lord out of the tomb. Still sounds like one woman, right? Yeah. But listen to Mary Magdalene's words. And we, everybody say we, we. and we do not know where they have laid him. So the Taoists and the pagan are wrong. The gospel teaches that Mary Magdalene was in company. But because Mary Magdalene is the focus of the narrative, that's why it talks about her. But by her words, she acknowledges that she was in company because she doesn't say, and I don't know where they've taken him. She says, we don't know where they've taken him. Now the we can't include the apostles because they had not gone to the tomb. So it must have included who? The other women accounted for in the synoptic gospels. So there is no contradiction. What about, what about um, um, was, it, um, was it Matthew? Did they mention the angel putting the Roman guards to sleep? Uh, let's have a look. So wait, 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 wait. So your argument is, let, let's, I just want to come back to our argument and let, let's not get caught up on the minutiae. Because your argument is that these discrepancies prove that Jesus Christ wasn't a real person. Because Mark was the original, you would agree? No. Mark's not the original... Oh, no, fine. Um, the gospel was preached before any of the literature was written. But one had to come first, surely. What, yeah, what, the preaching of the gospel. Which gospel? The gospel? Yes. Yeah, it was preached. You've got to listen carefully because it is a nuanced argument. The gospel of Jesus. The gospel of Jesus Christ was preached before it was ever written about. That's the original. Right. So, so oral, oral. Oral, yeah. So, right, the oldest one we have is Mark, right? Uh, lots of scholars believe that the, the earliest was Mark because it's the most rustic, most basic gospel. Right. And, and that one does not have the traditional ending, you'd agree? The, the, it ends when, it, when they discover that. I'll, I'll, tell you where it, I'll tell you where it gives the ending. But I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I want you to explain to me how a textual variant, mm -hmm. either in narrative purpose or, and I will come, I'm going to come and speak to you, bro. Well, how in narrative purpose, <laughs> our, our discrepancy in narrative, or even a textual variant, proves that Jesus Christ wasn't a real person. Link those two no, things no, up I'm for me. I'm not denying there could, there, there could very well be a real guy that Great. could. I'm not denying that. I'm just saying from the evidence, it sounds more like Paul had a vision, wrote the letters, Want, people wanted Christianity to spread, but, they, but Paul's letters wasn't enough. So they're like, okay, let's create a gospel to talk about a real Jesus that people will connect to. Yep. And Mark was written first, and then people say, oh, that's a bit too Jewish, I want a Greek one. So then Matthew and then um, John and Luke all had their own variety, but all making reference or getting their details from the original gospel. Yeah, right? so, so let, me, let me just come and back to this. Would you agree like, that earlier in this conversation he said he was denying that 
that Jesus Christ was a real person in history? Abel. He was. Yes. He was. So the ones in the would gospel, you agree, the ones, JC, the that that is what he said? The gospels, yes. Would, would, you, would you agree? So now you accept that there was a real person no, called I'm Jesus? I'm saying it's possible that whatever influenced um, the people at the gospels is based on a real person, but Jesus Thank described, you. So, so, Jesus described so, in the so, gospels is a myth. But you have no evidence of that? I do have evidence of it. Your, I, told your you, evidence, I told you the reference. No, of, no, hold on one second. Your evidence, the, the argument that you're making, mm -hmm. Right? And this is, this is the incongruity of your argument. Your argument cognitively does not follow. Because what you're saying is that textual variants prove that the Jesus Christ of the gospel is not a real Jesus Christ. Now, here's why that argument is false. Okay? If there was a fight to break out right now in this park, yeah, yeah which has happened many times, <laughs> yeah, and so it's not beyond reason, some fisticuffs. yeah, some fisticuffs between a Muslim and a Christian, yeah, yeah. which would probably be me, let's be honest, <laughs> it's most likely end up going to be me, right? What would happen? The Muslims would tell one story, and the Christians would tell another story, but none of them would deny that there was a fight. They would argue about who started the fight, who was responsible for the fight, who's the bad guy. So, so we've got a variant in narrative, Different. a difference in narrative. Different story, yeah. But no one could deny that there was a fight. Right. Right. Yeah. So these. Like example. Sorry, sorry, one, sorry, one second. Sorry, one second. Sorry, I give you an example. 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 I've already. I've already given no, 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 my own example. example. Why do I need another one? No, no, I've best. given my own example. It's the best example which you can elaborate on it. Yeah. Is about the death of Judah. Mm -hmm. You see the death of Judah mm -hmm. in two different accounts. Yep. One he says is Han himself. Yeah. And the other one he says his guts, he, guts out, fell yeah. out. Mm -hmm. And one he says the money he bought the land, the other one the money what gave back to the and, and these yep. and these and these two they, things they cannot be both and, right. And these no, actually they can be both right. How? So one How? in that, in that, yeah. in that. But but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you why your argument doesn't work. Yeah. I'm gonna show you why your argument doesn't work. Because even if we take these con this 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 prima facie yeah. contradiction, so it's a, a face value contradiction. Let's let let me come to this, right? What is not disputed is that he died. What is yes. not disputed is that he betrayed Jesus. Yes. Thank you. Yes. And that's the point. Well, how did he die? One I, second. I mean, how he him. No, I'm at. I, I am. I am. <laughs> what I'm saying to you. What I'm saying to you. Is read, that your argument doesn't? The, read the book of, oh, are we going to start shouting read now? The book of Jesus. Are we going to start shouting? <laughs> are we going to start shouting? Yeah. We've got to listen to one another, <laughs> right? So, because well, the moment you stop listening to me, I'll just start talking to everyone else, mm -hmm. and I stop talking to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, the question, the, the, the question yeah, how he died. I will give an answer, but you got to you got to listen, bro. Question how he died. I'm do, I'm dealing with his argument, not yours. I'm going to come with you to an argument in a second. So, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? If there was a dispute about the narrative and the narrative contradicts, like the example of the Muslim and the Christian and the fight and yeah. that, yeah, or the example of Judah and how he dies, yeah. right? The thing is that the, the essential narrative, the kernel of truth is there, isn't it? Yeah. Right? The thing is when, when two narratives contradict, the only bit that they contradict on is the specific, discrete and particular piece of information that they contradict upon. That does not invalidate the entire story or the entire historical right, so, event. So you, Do you so, get me? Yes, so you so deal with the argument. Right, right. All right, so there could be possibly a historical Jesus who is at least a doomsday prophet who got crucified. Right? Great, so we've advanced. So now we've gone from Jesus was a pagan myth to Jesus was possibly a real person in history to Jesus was a a, pro, a, a, a messianic. I'm, I'm saying what Paul written yeah. down does not reference a Jesus that historically existed. No, he does. I it, showed no, it to you. No, I told you my um, alternative hypothesis, but you're not. Not, really not to one Corinthians, you didn't. The last pagan emperor was uh, Julian the Apostle. Yeah, and even he didn't doubt that Jesus actually existed. Yeah, and because and he so, said uh, as he died, yeah, so did Okay, they got, they got nothing left to. They, they didn't have anything um, apart from. You don't. You, you don't. Down. You don't believe the testimony of the New Testament. So you don't believe in Matthew. You, even though it's a historical witness, you don't believe in the historical witness Matthew of Mark. Not, you don't they believe do, in the historical. The, we don't believe historical witnesses. Yeah, they're historical witnesses. Yeah, absolutely. It's an account. Like, let me ask you this question, right? Think of something that were, were that profoundly happened in your life years ago, right? Years ago, because we, it's a question about memory, isn't it? It's like, what do you remember? 
okay? We know that the Gospels were written much later, but much later within the lifetime. So they still count as eyewitnesses. They still count. If I give an account of my parents' divorce, I tell you, as a child, right, one of the most painful days of my life was when my parents told me that they were divorcing. I was a child. I remember it like that. I remember the weather. I remember the sound of my backpack rattling on my on my bag as I was sent home by the teachers. I remember my the, my dad driving up to me in a blue car as I was on my way home because he was also coming home and told me to get in the car and he drove me the rest of the way. I remember the color of the fence. I remember the plants down the side of the garden. I remember sitting in the kitchen and remembering what it was like to sit on a cold plastic seat. I remember my parents where they were stood in the kitchen. I remember than my father telling me, right? Do you know why I remember? Because when you experience something traumatic, it gives you a memory engram, okay. right? And the more profound the event, the deeper the memory goes. So when the Christians, when the apostles, the followers of Jesus saw their Lord crucified and saw him rise from the dead, would you not agree that that would have been a, such an, an astounding event it that it would have left them with a memory. Yeah. memory would right, now, Matthew, Matthew, now, one Matthew, second. Matthew, oh, no, brother, 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 zombies. brother, zombies. brother I will come to it's debate Islam one. with you in a second. I will come, and, I will come and debate Islam with you in a second. I'm going to come and debate Islam with you in a second, and you'll run, you'll run. But I'm stop trying to force yourself into our conversation. The point that I'm trying to make to you, bro, focus on me here, is that these, these, these kinds of, these kinds of events, they left that impression in their mind. So we're talking about a real event. And the thing that animated the first Christians wasn't the fact that Jesus was crucified. There were lots of messiahs before Jesus that were killed. There were lots of messiahs after Jesus was killed. In, in that sense, he wasn't unique but something animated them to go out and to preach the gospel. Remember, Paul was a convert. He wasn't the founder. He says in his own letters, he's a convert. Yeah, and they, what, and what did he say he preached? He preached the same as the first apostles, Cephas. That's what we read in 1 Corinthians. Those were Paul's own words. So it was the resurrection that animated them. Again, um, Paul could have eased, um, here's, here's a moment where he saw Jesus could easily be described as, um, in, in um, how you say it, um, if he's like full of guilt of killing the Christians and he's fast. Yeah. Um, it's very, it, 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 psychologically, it could be described in, in those material terms rather than just saying, oh, this is absolute you know truth that Jesus is real and Paul is Paul converted because of his own mystical experience right just as our Lord is still at work today I am speaking I have I have spoken with multiple people who have seen our Lord right. they've had a vision of our Lord like Paul and it's changed their life like Paul my God is active in history your God your 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 sky father it's always here it doesn't do anything it does do the Sun gives the us the announcement right now now we've identified his false God it's not a false God. your God was created do you know how a Sun forms yes it's a gas giant thank no how does a gas giant form Oh, if you, have you heard of the electrical universe theory? Bro, I, I, I did physics. All right. I'll, tell you, you, I'll tell you how a sun forms. No, no, no. It's a dust cloud collapsing in on itself, and then the pressure in the vacuum of space reaches a point that atoms are fused together. All right? And they're just giant dust balls that set on fire. Right, well, in a, in, well, well, the electric universe... Wait, fire is the wrong description. It's yeah, plasma. Yeah, yeah. plasma. But, but, yeah. The electrical universe theory actually um, has a lot more sophisticated way of describing the suns. They are all interconnected, and there's a central point. You know, it's like, it's like lights in a, in a city. You know, there's like, there's the main engine that... Boy, so, you, but my point is, your God is contingent. You've identified this sun mm -hmm. as your God. There's the materialistic sun, but there's also the spiritual sun. The spiritual... Oh, 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 where is so so is the spiritual sun and the material sun the same thing or are they different they're, they're the same and different you they're the same and different he's run away he doesn't want to support the pagan anymore he doesn't want to support the pagan. i'll come and find you brother i said he's run away he doesn't want to support the pagan anymore you see the muslims are so against the church that they will side with the pagans they, they will side with the pagans against the church that is a lie so do you believe do you believe in different dimensions what sorry do you believe in different dimensions yes i'm open to the idea all right so well no let me freeze i don't believe I'm open to the idea. 
All right. I'm open to the idea for a biblical reason, though. Ah, so as long as it's biblical, biblical then it's... Here's a figure. Yeah, it's because the Bible, the Bible taught... To get, there's a, a story in the Old Testament, I'm not sure exactly where it is, right. where, where basically God calls someone to throw lots. Mm -hmm. Someone throws lots, and God basically explains to them what would have happened if the lot had fallen the other way, mm -hmm. which would seem to indicate more than one time continuum. Right. Oh, so, so there is the possibility of dimensions. Right? I'm open to the idea of right, different right. dimensions. That is, the, that is what the spiritual sun is. You know, we are all connected um, through consciousness. You know, did God, did your God tell you this? Again, telling is subjective. It's just learning the empirical evidence. And you no, 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 no. There's no empirical evidence of a sky daddy. There is. That's the sky. That 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 that, that is a that is a, a plasma ball yep. in the vacuum of space. And it is not a and sky daddy. All the stars in the universe. And yes, beyond. yes, yes, yes. The, that the, yes. Is God. No, no, no. It's not Yahweh. It's not Jehovah. Are we just getting it right? <laughs> are, are we getting to the point of shouting yeah, now? Yeah, so yeah. maybe we should stop. Oh, okay. okay. But my point to you is, your pagan god is contingent. Mm -hmm. It isn't infinite. Right. It isn't eternal. It is a created thing. And nothing that he's created is worthy of worship. All right. Well, the Muslims can say the same thing. The Jews can say the same thing. So we're going into semantics now. I, I, I think, brother, you... I'm just you, saying there's a lot more le le leeway for us to unite over the things that is in nature, that is true, and not over the things that are purely in Scripture. You, well, you're not arguing for nature, bro. Okay, I'm going to stop because we're just starting to get shouting. Have a good day. Yeah, have a good day, man. Have you, have you got one of these, a Gospel of John? Have you got one? No, no. Have it. My gift to you. Thank you very much. It's nice talking to you. Okay. The Christo Sanestisi. So, let me, let me just explain my final thoughts on this. So basically, what we've got is a pagan who doesn't have any supernatural revelation. His God does not speak. And we've identified that his son, that the son is his God. It is a, a contingent God that does nothing and does not act in history. He stopped, he stopped. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what we want. We want a God active in history. And the God of the Christians is a God who acts in history. In the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through his prophets, through the people of Israel. He has come. The pagans started off by saying that Jesus was just a pagan myth. By the end of the conversation, he accepts that Jesus Christ was a real person. Because Jesus Christ is a real person. Testified to by the Gospels. Testified to by the writings of Paul. Testified to by the writings of Tacitus. Testified to by the writings of Josephus. Testified to by the writings of Suetonius. All of these historians and more speak of our Lord Jesus Christ as a real person who was truly crucified and who rose from the dead. And if Jesus Christ rose from the dead, Christianity is true, period. Full stop, end of every argument, end of every dispute. That is what you have to wrestle with. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Did you have a question? I like my water.